Okay, in this one, we're going to actually do a little test here. Now, will earth ground kick a breaker? Let's say I run a direct short from a breaker to earth ground. Not neutral, earth ground. Okay, will it kick a breaker? Well, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got a little light here. And I'm going to plug the light into an outlet so we can see where it works. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this light between earth ground and uh, the output of a breaker. Okay, right here I want you to note this is a number four copper earth ground. It is not hooked to neutral, it's only hooked to the earth ground. So let's see, first thing, if I hook up one of my jumpers, I got my little jumpers here, if I hook one of my jumpers up to one side of this plug in this light and hook that to earth ground, here, let's go ahead and show what we're doing. Okay, you can see I have this yellow jumper hooked to the plug. I'm going to clamp it on earth ground. Okay, now the other black jumper, I'm going to hook up to a hot breaker. Now, the breaker's off right now. 120 volt breaker. I am going to hook this to the other side of this outlet. Okay. Nothing's happening because I don't have the power on. Let's turn the power on and see what happens. Hmm. Well, I seem to have light. What's wrong with this light? It's not very bright, is it? Okay, I've also hooked up a voltmeter on this, and I have 85 volts. Okay, that means it's feeding through some kind of load. Who knows where? Who knows where it's coming from? Uh, sometimes I look at this, I get 120 volts. Sometimes I look at it, I get 30 volts. You know, this is this is earth ground. There's every goofball thing coming into earth ground you'd ever think of. But the question we're looking for here, if I short this, if I take the light out and just short it straight to the uh, earth ground, will it throw the breaker? Okay, here I've run this jumper straight to the breaker. Now the breaker's off right now. So if I turn on this breaker, power is going to pass through this black wire to the earth ground. Am I going to get a dead short and is the circuit protection, circuit protection is a breaker here, is it going to kick off? Let's find out. Nope. I just turned the power on. Uh, nothing happened. Could, if I got between this earth ground and this jumper, could I get a shock? Yes, I could. Even conceivably, could be electrocuted because it only takes 150 milliamps of amperage to kill you. So, but the point of this whole thing is, if I go to earth ground and not neutral, so that there's no neutral wire hooked up, if I just go to earth ground, will the circuit protection shut off the circuit? No, it won't. At least not in this case. Now remember, I get all kinds of different voltages here depending on when I do it. Right now it stayed pretty uh, steady at... 85 volts but and there is power passing through here if you look there's a little bit of power passing through there so that's it's true it's actually going to it it may be going from my 120 volt to out to the pole or something I don't know you know I don't know really what's going on but just remember the earth ground is probably not going to shut off the circuit protection if it's not also connected to a neutral. Now I've got another 
one on how the neutral's hooked up. I'll put a link in here on that one. But just think about this. My light bulb here did glow, so it was actually using power, but it was at a low voltage. Something like I was probably running through some other kind of load or something. But I'm not getting a lot of power through it. It's not enough to save me, to keep me from getting electrocuted, just having earth ground. It has to have the neutral too. So, I don't know. Hope one this, this one makes sense to everybody. I know this is complicated and sometimes it doesn't make sense to me. But anyway, that's the, uh, the dead short from 120 volts to earth ground.